Duran Premium Cigars, one of the fastest growing boutique cigar companies, providing smokers a portal into the old Cuban tradition of perfect balance and the lost art of progressive flavor construction. Roberto Palayo Duran began his career in tobacco over two decades ago in Havana, where his reputation grew within Cuban circles. The creation of Duran Premium Cigars has given Roberto the platform to introduce a series of cigars that offer the same quality, construction, and detail which he perfected while in Cuba. Brands include the ultra-premium Roberto P. Duran Premium Cigar Series, Bazan Cigars, Nea, and Baracoa. Duran Cigars uses a seed-to-humidor approach as all tobacco is grown in their farms and rolled in their factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Rollers have been carefully chosen to carry out Roberto's precise method to ensure progressive flavor in each cigar. Duran Cigars invites you to make their premium your standard. Welcome back to the Stogie Geeks, episode 260, volume 2. This is the Stogie Geeks section. We have a three-segment if you're just tuning in. You missed the first segment. You're going to have to go to stogiegeeks.com and check it out. Paul Azadorian's top five and Paul Azadorian's stance as to where he has been and what's going on in 2018 here on the Stogie Geeks program. Every Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check us out. It all starts when you go to stogiegeeks.com or you can log on that Facebook page, Instagram, and all that type stuff. When we were originally hitting uh, episode, you know, 240 in the 40s, all that, uh, I knew eventually we were going to get up into uh, matching the episodes with kind of around my weight, and I plan on losing a few pounds before that. <laughs> now, now we're at 260, and no, I, I still haven't hey, lost any weight. I'm below my weight. I <laughs> I've had an incredible uh, 27 weeks of training. It's uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's an embarrassing reminder at all at all times, especially each week. I'm in there. I've had an incredible 27 weeks of of outside of uh, Stuggy Geeks training. A lot of bananas, yep. For sure, eating a lot of bananas and lettuce and and stuff like that. Trying to get to, I don't know what I'm trying to get to, but I'm getting to. So that's that. This is the Stuggy Geeks episode 260, volume two. Uh, I am so. <laughs> fascinatingly excited this be a fun, uh, to fun talk segment. about this segment <laughs> okay um we do a lot of show prep here on monday and um it usually starts around you know thursday afternoon uh we start knowing if we're gonna be co-hosting or who's coming on or what the interview is and we start getting ready and we start having some dialogue back and forth and when you want to talk about dialogue going back and forth you are in you are in for some whoppers on this episode okay because when joe d says he he texted me um his idea for this segment so uh joe d is going to run with it for the for the most part he says we're, we're going to take some time out and talk about the do's and don'ts of cigar lounge etiquette so let's stop and think about that now the first thing that pops into my mind is oh boy <laughs> you know oh my this is a loaded loaded conversation maybe some friends and family offended we're gonna leave all the uh I have, the names of the participants out of this but i have so much to dis- to talk about this you've uh quickly reviewed your um synopsis yep, yep. and um or your syllabus for this uh, right <laughs> as 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 you came very prepared for this segment and my take is the views expressed in this opinion of the Story go. Geeks yeah. podcast do not represent Story Geeks' <laughs> management and or his staff. This is coming from, I guess I can say us now, right? Right? <laughs> right? Uh, Some of these could, could be uh, construed as, you know, Jerry Seinfeld uh, type things, that, you know, that bother you, you see. But, uh, you know, I'm sure it's going to resonate well with... Some of the uh, some of the viewers and uh, things you see, maybe you happen to be that guy, you know, in uh, committing some of these minor offenses. Maybe maybe you shape it up. Maybe you didn't even uh, realize that was the case. But and and the funny thing is, when I think about this topic, I've actually on some of the uh, points that Joe D is going to uh, articulate for us, I've actually complained to cigar shop owners. Right. Like, what is up with? this guy or what is up with this group of people why are they doing it? it's so annoying and it's funny because it's going you know all these things are going on in every shop across the country and there's always you know this particular guy this girl you know whatever the case may be um i believe no one has the courage to talk about this there you go right, right. i believe no one has the courage to talk about this we're gonna rip that band-aid off today we're gonna see what i happens. really want to talk about this <laughs> i i really want to spend some time 
talking about this, articulating <laughs> Joe D's <laughs> fascinating <laughs> points. And this is the do's and don'ts. Now, I guess you could say that the, these are our do's and don'ts of what we would, you know, say that we, we don't think is appropriate or whatnot. There's many more, but these are ours. But <laughs> if you want to add to this, oh, yeah. okay, uh, by all means, if you want to add to this, you can go to uh, Joe H at stogiegeeks.com. What is it? I think it's separated by a comma. Joe D <laughs> at stogiegeeks.com. Bring the ruckus. And you can email us both. And then from our perspective, we can keep the conversation going. There you go. We would hit reply all. Right. Okay. <laughs> and keep the conversation going. If you want to add to this list. I'd love to hear it. We would love to hear it. And we are going to spend some time talking about this on future episodes. If you, the Stogie Geeks listener, participate and have the courage. Now, you know me. I would say John from blah, 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 Texas, or, you know, Susie from Ontario, Canada, or whichever. So I, I do have your name because you emailed me, right? <laughs> um, I usually don't give the last name, right? So you, you are somewhat protected. Maybe a fictitious name. Maybe you want to be Cecil from uh, Niagara Falls one day. <laughs> you know, you can, you, know you, you, you can do that. But, you know, you really got to have the courage to talk about this because I, I thought it was me. Yeah. And then when you came up with, with this idea, I was like, okay, so it's not me. But I... I'm a vocal person, right. so for those of you who know me, you're like, okay, Joe will, Joe H, will definitely tell the cigar shop owner that this is ridiculous, that this even happens in your shop, and, right. you know, um, this is ridiculous that, you know, uh, I, uh, shops that don't have coffee. It shouldn't, but <laughs> it, it does pop up in every shop, varying degrees, a couple, you know, a couple things here and there, and uh, maybe the shop owner hasn't. Uh, you have to be apprised to some of these things. Maybe we're uh, we're uncovering the the sheets here, and I don't know. Without Before. further ado, the do's and don'ts of cigar shop etiquette, yeah. brought to you by Joe D and Joe H. In, in no particular order. Uh, for me, you know, the company you keep in a in a particular shop. Every shop has uh, uh, you know <clears throat> different uh, different atmosphere. You know, sometimes you want you want to if you're not a regular at a particular shop, you might want to ease yourself in. You know, so you burst out of the scene. Um, Company, company you keep is, uh, you know, wedding parties, drunken friends. You know, I, I'm drawing my own, uh, my own inferences here from, you know, from various friends and, and people <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, who go nameless. Um, but just the, uh, you know, the, the loud, loud decor in a shop, you command, you take the thing over and maybe want to ease it down. Just relax, enjoy yourself, light up a, light up a cigar. Um, bullying into private conversations. Mm. This happens all the time. You know, obviously, there's uh, open dialogue. Uh, you know, uh, wanted at all in all shops and uh, locations, but uh, there might be a private conversation going on. You happen to you happen to eavesdrop, and then you, you burst onto the scene. Um, probably not the best way to make friends and go about it. Mm. Especially what I notice around, you know, uh, a shop has its holiday party, Christmas party, anniversary mm -hmm. party. Um, you know, this is the 50th. This shop's been open six, seven, eight, ten, twenty, thirty years. And people come out of the woodwork. Oh, yeah. They come out of the woodwork. It's like, uh, dude, are you here for the buffet and the stick? Because I, I will get the cigar shop owner to get some tin foil, <laughs> put the plate to go, <laughs> and you can take your stick. And, in fact, I'll take a collection. We'll buy you a few sticks, and you can leave. <laughs> so, that, so that's my add-on with, yeah. with the company you, you, you keep. You know, it's like some people... And, and and you can tell that they're really trying too hard. They're like a fish out of water. It's like, who are you? We haven't seen you here in, in days, months, years. It is, if, if you're new to you know a new shop, you're walking in, it can be overwhelming. And uh, just uh, just act accordingly, man. Just, just blend in. Blend into the woodwork. Grab that it, was an easy one. So you definitely don't want to tune this show. <laughs> you don't want to tune this segment out. Because in the third segment, we will get to our sticks of the week. Uh, but... You know. The highest offense that bothers me is you come into a shop, you may happen to bring a particular stick you're jonesing for, the shop doesn't have it, uh, but you have to pay tribute to the shop. Mm. you gotta, you got to grab a stick while you're there. Uh, this, you know, there's always going to be a guy, the eight-hour newspaper guy. Yep. He's there for eight hours, another guy sipping on water for uh, an eight-hour segment. And he brings his own stick. And he brings his own stick. Don't be, don't be that guy or girl uh, that's committing all, all three offenses at once. Grab a stick out of the uh, the human art, pay tribute. You know, <laughs> but I'm going to take it a step further. Yeah. What drives me bananas, okay? What drives me completely bonkers 
is when I'm going to the bathroom and there's a sign in the bathroom that says uh, $10 cutting fee. Right. The fact that you have to have a $10 cutting fee, right. are people that crazy? Like, this is what I do. If I had a hankering for a stick or being a co-host of Stogie Geeks and Joe Dia co-host, we have a plethora of sticks that we need to get to uh, for critique and review. And sometimes time constraints, oh boy, I need to get to my critiques right. and reviews. Uh, buy a stick. Like, you know, buy a stick. Now, I always peel off the band anyway. Right. Like, but the, what drives me crazy is someone's like, well, I bought the stick somewhere else. Can I smoke it? You never. Like, dude, no, you're not, buy you're, a stick from the humidor or Chica. Buy a stick from the humidor, right? Pay. And then smoke your stick. They're not going to be stick Nazis. And if they are stick Nazis... You know, but that drives me bananas. Unbanned, it surely don't want to air it out and advertise to the world that you know you're smoking a steak from. Uh, Look at me, I went across on, the way. I went on a trip to Cuba, and my my doctor got me this. And and, and dude, well, my take cool, it, you're, you're rubbing their nose in it. You know, yeah. You're rubbing the shop owner's nose in it. There's no no need for it. Just just keep it low key, low key on the down low. Yep. Order a cup of coffee if the place even has coffee, right? <laughs> it's a touchy subject, yeah. Right? If the place even has coffee, but you know, um, y- yeah, just. Buy the stick, cut what you want, and move on with your day. Yeah, I know it's similar to a cutting fee, but I, I just think that that's very tacky. It dry, like, we're talking, I'm doing my business in the bathroom, and I'm rolling my eyes. Because that's the type of person that I'm like, really? Like, we have to, we, we result to this, like, $10 cutting fee. You're there for hours. You know, the shop owner, the staff, they seem to peel into the, uh, to the bag, the pocket, whip out, you know, three cigars consecutively, one after another. You didn't venture into, into the humidor. They may like you. They <coughs> may be personal friends, mm. but it's uh, it's not the right thing to do. Mm-mm. You know, um, common decency for me. Uh, you see, you see a you know mess on the floor. The restroom's out of TP. Paper towel. Uh, don't let it go. Don't let it ride for an hour or so. Tip somebody off. It takes two seconds. Oh, tell tell the attendant. <laughs> like there's nothing. That Can you spare a square? Th- th- there's nothing that drives me nuts. <laughs> right? Okay. The bathroom's out of paper towels, okay? I know it was out of bad paper towels. I walk to the attendant. I have a problem with buzzing people, which that which that, that right. that's another one we gotta add I'm to the list, there. right? Yep. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna press this beeper so I can get service. Really? Like like where are we? The freaking Taj Mahal over here? <laughs> right? So it, it's it's like okay, right? The, so I walk up to the attendant and say, Hey man, the men's room is out of paper towels. They say, Okay, thank you, right? Just quiet. I don't like hey You, you may not be the offender, but but, what, but you what, came across that you noticed that Decency is the right, the right thing to do. I'm Tip gonna take off. it a step further because yep. Joe, I don't. I number one, I don't think you can go too far. Somebody uses the restroom. Mm. I know there's no paper towels. They come out and say, "Yo, what up, dog?" It's <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> oh, whoa, no. time out. And I'm like, oh man, dude, really? I give them the knuckles. Yeah, yeah. And I give them the elbow. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Good to see you. You know, that's saying. unfortunate. We, <laughs> we know, effectively we call that the yeah. uh, the poo mitt. There, know, there's no need for it. No. You know, there, there are some places there. I've walked out of the bathroom and I've done this to air dry my hands. <laughs> right? I'm like going like this, yo. And like, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, uh, um, I'm airing out my hands. Why? What? Why? Why? What? Why? Because I felt like being Italian and and getting water all over the hands just like this, and then doing that. No. Uh, like do, do it, you know, you know, and and it does happen, especially if the volume has been big or the right. attend never got to the the facilities at right. that time or whatnot. But yeah, oh, the square, can we? That's can, yeah, it's can wrong. we use a square? It's, <laughs> spare a square. It's wrong on many levels. Right. Please, um, next to me, social media, social media in the lounges. Uh, you know, we all on occasion like take pictures of the uh, cigars, what you're smoking for your own archives. Um, there may be people. Next year, around here, that don't want to be photographed, tagged into certain things. They may be undercover. <laughs> yeah, they're doing what they're doing. This is their time of uh, you know relaxation and enjoyment. Um, just <laughs> keep it, keep it to yourself. Keep it clean. Mm, mm. Maybe you take a gander. You look around the room. Um, not everybody wants to be uh, blasted on social media. Your location, where you at, what you're doing. Uh, you know, maybe somebody in the business that smoking not their own particular product. Mm. You know, maybe they're doing a review. Maybe it was a cigar gifted to them. Um, there's no no need to throw anybody uh, under the bus. Keep it low key. Mm. For the reps out there, okay, this is old hat. Okay, we know you have fancy shoes, and we know you're smoking your brand. Okay, 
try a different stance. You know what I mean? Yep. Take the cigar, pin it up against the special of the shop, yep. and say, hey, when you come to this shop, you're gonna they have a little sign, right? Three ninety five, uh double shot espresso, right? Some of them don't even have coffee, right? I'm never going to let that go. No. Right? But, you know, the, 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 the just, I don't know. This place, we're, we're following you on social media for the reps. A little out there. creativity goes along with And a little creativity. You yep. know, it's yep. like we see feet in socks in, 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 in designer Italian fine shoes, you know? And I don't some, know. Some with laces, some without. Them, some with laces, some without. That, that, <laughs> that, that drives me like freaking like bananas. No, not, not, in a total, not a totally uh, <laughs> egregious offense, but. Uh, yeah, if you're new to the cigar game, maybe you practice the cutting and lighting on your on your own time. You want to avoid some of that embarrassment. You're in the shop. You're fumbling around. You're dropping the sticks, uh, asking somebody else for a light. You know, just tone. You know, rein in the skills. Maybe on the uh, on the QT before you get to a lounge, save a little bit of uh, embarrassment moving forward. No, not you know, not too many people are gonna remember that. Uh, what? Oh, uh, cut. Yeah, the, the cut and the lighting. You know, it should be something that's low key and enjoyable to you, your particular preference. And uh, if you're not as well versed with it, you know, you're advertising to the world that uh, you're, you're Joe New Guy. Yeah, you new guy on the scene. Yeah, the guy walks into the shop. Hey, big guy, says to me, right? Hey, big guy, what's going on? I says, well, hey, man, what's up? You know, what are you smoking? I'm smoking a blah, blah, blah. Oh, great. Well, how did you cut that? You know what I mean? Or yeah. can you cut it for me? Can I cut it for I'm not even a cigar uh, attendant. Right. Can you cut it for me? Now, I'm not a jerk. Yep. I get up, and I'm snip. Here you go, man. You know, it's like, do you want me to light it for? Hold on, there you go. You good? You good? I can, I can light that for you. Hold on, wait. Let me get you the buzzer. If you need anything else, just, just buzz me. Joe, I'm gonna take it one <laughs> step further. The community cutter. Do not wrap your lips around the cigar and wet it, and then use that community cutter. It's horrible. Uh, even one step further, you see, you know, there's always that that guy in the shop that's you know lapping up on the entire cigar. Uh, you know what time? That's commonly done is in prison when you're you're rolling your own cigars. No, no need for it. Stay off the community cutter. <laughs> Invest in a cheap one. Maybe get one at an event. Um, yeah, there, there's no need no need for that. Yeah, especially now. You can buy a lighter. It's got a cutter. You have some that bullet, some that V, some that bullet and V, some that bullet V and guillotine. Yep. Right? Dude, spend some money, get your cutter. Or better yet, go to an event. Don't ask the rep for a cutter, right? For, Pro, uh, no, no, I can see it now. Every rep's going to be like, Joe, come on now. <laughs> you go, me. I, know, I know you can't pass out that cutter. You know, and It's like, you know, this is swag. You know, this is, it's like, okay, let's take it easy. Let's put this all into perspective here. Another, another uh, <laughs> non-egregious offense, but uh, just common courtesy, uh, reciprocating of cigars. We get chipped off uh, cigars from time to time. You try and repay that repay that favor. And, uh, you know, the quickest way to not see another, you know, free stick from a friend or a suggestion is uh, ice them out and not reciprocate back. It doesn't take, doesn't take much, but... Through conversation to find out what people are into, what they're smoking, maybe yeah. maybe have a cigar to offer uh, somebody back afterwards. And if you're gonna reciprocate a cigar, right, that you didn't get at the shop, right, don't go, yo man, I got this rich cigar for my trip, man, it's free. I Keep like it. Low. I spent twenty six bucks for it. Here, go. What are right. you jockeying for, like a reciprocal gift? What is this, like the Big Bang Theory? Right. Right? Like, yeah. you know, you remember, you ever watched Big Bang Theory? No, not at all. That show's crazy, right? <laughs> but, like, anyway, you know, the, the, oh, you, oh, he gave me a $26 stick. That's great. You know, I got to at least give him, like, a, a $20. No, man. Just Bad form. For you. Bad if form. you're gifting someone a stick, do not present the price unless they say, yo, man, this is darn good. I've never had one. Or thank you very much. You know, you didn't have to do that. By the way. You know, what would you spend for it? Now, some people, the story geek listener, might be saying, well, you shouldn't even ask for the price. Right. But, uh, hey, there's some times I don't really feel like throwing it into Google. You know, I'm on internet for yep. my uh, day job uh, hourly, <laughs> you know, um, and by the minute. But, you know, you just, you know, you don't have to reciprocate with the same thing. Get them something that they would enjoy. Right. You know, get them something that they would drop. I, I get that all the time. I get that all the time. Yo, man, I went to the shop. My goal is to find you a stick. I have I have a couple of listeners, and I'm very thankful for them, mm -hmm. for supporters. They want to try to, you know, hey, if I get you a stick, you know, can you rate it on the show? Sure, absolutely. Yep. Right? Absolutely. I'll put it in rotation. I'll, I'll, I'll rate it on the show. Oh, by the way, that was like friggin' 20 bucks. It's like, hey, I didn't ask for for the stick. Right. It's that, yeah. You know, like. It's, you about, know? The, it's about the gesture. It's not about <laughs> the price point yeah. at the time. And 
keep it going. I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm like ants in my pants talking about this because I'm so happy that we, not we, but we have the courage to talk about this. You and, know? And, and I don't know about yourself, like, you know, running through your mind, uh, <laughs> 20, 20 people you've encountered over the last couple of weeks committing, you know, uh, variants of offenses here, top to bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I'm. Comes to time. Some people may not know. You know, maybe uh, through the show they notice it and say, "Wow, I, I got to change uh, change gears a little bit." You know, I'm that guy. I become that eight hour newspaper guy or lap it up on the cigar. It, tone it down just a little. If bit. you want to lap up on your cigar, just kind of get I want to eat or something. You know, you don't have to bring it off. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were talking about uh, this before the show too. You have the, more. Right? Oh yeah, I got a couple more. Oh uh, yeah, I'm digging this. Just the. Uh, no, no, we were the, talking about a couple minutes before. No, go for it. The end of the cigar, right? Mm. Um. Do, do it right by the cigar. Try not to grind it into the uh, the ashtray. Let the cigar die peacefully and mm. <laughs> respectfully. Let it, let it be. Um, no, nobody else wants to you know smell the end of a cigar, and it just it's just bad form. It's a bad look. Yeah, if you get to the cigar do and you're right. done at for whatever point, time constraint or whatever, if you put the cigar in the ashtray, it will fizzle out. You do not need to pound it and grind it. And when you're not making, what is it, a muddle? Right, muddle. You're, you're, not, you're not muddling something, <laughs> right? You're, you're, you're just put the cigar in. Guess what? This is a natural product, right? So physics will tell you that if you do not draw the cigar, right, it's gonna go out. In an ideal situation, <laughs> somebody's doing that. It's a full, you know, it's an empty ashtray. But you're gonna come across. There's been times I've noticed it's a full ashtray. Maybe the, uh, the you know, uh, the cigar attendant, you know, uh, the shops haven't got around to it. Now you get a full ashtray, matches, dead cigars, and now you're grinding that thing in there. You're spilling stuff all over the place. It's uh, it's a bad look again. Yeah, and then that attendant. Take it easy. Take it easy. The attendant yep. who is being pushed in every which way, either taking care of the humidor, taking care of drinks if it's a lounge. Already working hard. Already working hard. They do not need to spray the thing. Go, they'll just put the cigar in the thing. They'll take care of it and, and, and move forward with there. I'm going to sense on the ashtray kick. Yeah. You know how the ashtray has like the little lip where you put your cigar? Right. The cigar places that don't clean that. So okay, you, you gotta you gotta put it down there. I'm gonna put my cigar. I'm like, oh boy, who can, you know, <laughs> you know, all the cigar places where I can spell my name in the furniture. Right. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that with a friend. Right. Glitter <laughs> residue on the ashtray. Maybe somebody came from the gentleman's club beforehand. No need for it. No. It's <laughs> you know, it's like, dude. It's like you know, it's like, come on, man, throw a little rag on that thing, and you know, get, gentleman's yeah. wipe down. That's you know, or like when we can see, you know, you get it. This happens a lot. You get it uh, 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 to go, and you go to the shop, and you eat first. Yep. Because you know you're going to be smoking something good, and you want a full stomach or something like that. Or, sure. again, time constraint. Yep. We do not need to know what you ate on your chair. If you are a messy eater, right? If you're a messy eater, right? Hey, man. <laughs> sweep it up. Buzz the attendant and say, hey, man. Or, hey, you know, can can you got to wipe because... I really don't need you picking up my marinara sauce that's all over, or, you know, crumbs that, and stuff like you that. Ash is ash in the chair. Well, was, yeah, you know, grease it, from a sandwich, you smell like a steak bomb for the next four hours. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm <laughs> having uh, way too much fun on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the speed at which you smoke a cigar. Um, not, not an egregious offense, just kind of etiquette and the whole thing. You know, a cigar is meant to be uh, enjoyed, relax, point of relaxation. Take time with the cutting and the lighting, ritualistic that activity. Uh, you know, the, it's not a, not a speed blast. You don't have to march through. You know, it doesn't mean you're, uh, you're a super cigar guy. You got to blast through three or four cigars in a two-hour span. Take your time. We all know we're all smoking cigars. We're all enjoying it. It's not not a race. Right. And uh, uh, yeah, not 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 the biggest deal, but just a uh, little little something that you notice from time to time. You know. See, to me, it's a big deal. When some when I'm going to smoke a cigar, someone's like, "Hey man, you're really milking that thing." Oh, I'm sorry. It's right. called enjoyment, right? I'm on Joe I'm, time right now. I'm on, you know, I'm on, you, you know, you should be shocked that I'm not in front of my computer working in in, in a cigar shop. That's a if yep. you follow me, right? Yep. <clears throat> B, I didn't know we were having a race to see how many puffs. You know, we're not trying to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop over here, right? We're, we're trying to. To enjoy, One, two, three. Right. Yeah. <laughs> how many puffs does it take yeah. to finish? You know, it's yeah. like it, it's like we're not running a race. You know, oh, you're really milking that thing. You know, you must not like it. No, it's called enjoyment. Right. And sometimes the uh, K 
cadence when smoking a cigar, you know, especially if it's a cigar that I have the liberty to talk about here as right. co-host of Stogie Geeks, I want to deliver the best articulate way I can. And I feel that if you've watched all the episodes since January 2nd, 2017 that I've been on, I'm hoping each week I'm moving in the more positive direction right. with my articulation of the stick. Sometimes I want to sit back and enjoy what, what they're offering. And so, you know, we're not absolved from this. You know, we can be held accountable too. So <laughs> hopefully we're not committing any of these offenses now that it's out there. The eyes will be, you know, the eyes oh, be I know I'm getting email. So. Oh, and smoking cigars next to me is a church mouse. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sitting in the chair who's quiet. I don't right. know how to be quiet. You know, take after my mom. Sorry. Right. Yep. But you're not you bullying know. the way in the conversations either. It's kind of, that's another one. Let it ride. Well, it, yeah, it touched out a little bit, but it's, uh, he's in, he's in, you know, especially if it's a new shop, your first time there, um, just get a, get a feel for the, uh, for the place and how it goes. So some shops are a little bit, you know, louder and more jovial than others others are low-key and uh just temper uh, the experience that each shop in particular <laughs> um uh, you, you uh, get into the big p well i wanted to throw out there too the uh you know as you know davidoff did a uh uh conducted a little, little study the guide to cigar etiquette came out in 1967 worth a read anybody wants to uh continue this further and you know we're just we're just scratching the surface a couple things that uh, notable to us that were brought up, but there's certainly other things out there, you know, legit uh, cigar etiquette that can be touched upon. These are just. Uh, oh, are you done? All right, pretty much, yeah. I mean. Oh, uh, I'm not. Oh, let it, let it rip. <laughs> let it rip. <coughs> I am not done. All right. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's not talk about politics, sex, or religion. Great point. Now, great point. Up to probably 2016, I used to not talk about politics or religion. Okay. Now I've had sex to the thing. Hey, yep. man, you want to swing from trees and chandelier and you like handcuffs or whatever it is that you do? <laughs> that's your business. You know what I mean? It's not like, yeah, man, meant this trick, man. Or, <clears throat> Joe, what do you think about Trump's uh, wall? Or what do you think about, um, you know, what, 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 what do you think about the, you know, the, the, the church doing their stance on X? Whoa, 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 time out, time out, okay? Right. When I leave the sanctuary of the cigar shop, I'm a small business owner. Believe me, I argue. <laughs> I strive. I sometimes struggle. I sometimes push. I do not need to do that while I'm enjoying a cigar, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, and, and again, a lot of that has to deal with Facebook etiquette too. Like right. there are some people that I'm close friends with and they're posting stuff, a political stance or whatever. And dude, you, you get a forum. Right, get a forum, get a podcast, start a radio show, start a podcast. You need help with that? Go around to radio dot com. That's my business. We can help you with that. Right? Neutrality across the board. Right. It's, not sure. even, it's like yeah. it's like, dude. I, I don't really, you know. It's, it's it, not a rabbit hole you want to jump down. There, from this is my stance about politics. There is an electoral process, okay, and those who participate can articulate, and there you go. You don't like it. Participate in the process, right? A person got elected, like him, love him, or leave him, yep. and he's there. Respect the position. I'm not pro anybody. I'm just saying. And we're not like, here to uh, solve the world's problems but, over you know, a two-hour and, and segment. It's, and it's amazing over, how over like cigars. some cigar shops are like, you know, I mean, NASA, when they're launching a, 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 a project to go into space, go through less protocols than some people. And the last thing mm -hmm. I want to do is be put on a spotlight for that. You know, even close friends, they like, oh, you know, they, 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 they hang on to, to stuff that, you know, oh, you're watching this. Like, for those of you who know me in the shop, I watch Andy Griffith or Gunsmoke, yep. right? Yep. It's on, okay? reason why I like old stuff is because I wish it was times for old stuff. But you know something? Again, I'm not going to get into my political views. Uh, it, it's like it, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't ask someone. You know, what you think about the church's stance on this? Or any church, pick one. Or what do you what do you think about, you know, uh, LBQ, XYZ, you know what I mean? Or, or, or what do you think about a march? Or what do you think about this, you know, uh, stance that this genre's taken? Or this genre? Whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not here. Not what do you here. think Another about time. Uh, Let's talk about this cigar and, you know, how, Pete's, how people 
in a much peaceful place <laughs> had the opportunity to make it yep. and let's just enjoy the craft or let's talk about you know or, or the fanboy oh you know I, have you met the roller of x well i'm a coast uh, story you geeks chances are i probably did if it was in rotation i don't know uh, and like, yeah. yeah man i met so and so and it was a it was a blast or i met so and so and I, hey I, i've had my experiences right i've had the opportunity to golf with ronnie lapet 1986 patriots done some promo with him in my other show right but i don't i don't say hey man you know who i just met you know if it comes up in conversation where someone's like hey so you show you went interviewed yeah yeah it was cool man. it normally just doesn't stop with one it's a rolodex of uh who's who everyone oh. you've encountered over the last uh year or so yeah you know Dial and, it back. and it's great that we all go to events and we wear cigar swag you know uh yep. labeled polo or this or backpack or some some of the gifts i like now are getting very very creative yep. you know um there we all like cigar swag there's nothing wrong with wearing it but we do not we know we know you bought a box of cigars to get the hat get it got it we're there i'm i i, I feel you like i feel you and i hope you bought the cigars because you enjoyed the yeah, cigar sure. not to get the hat <laughs> Because if you want the hat, counterproductive. I have yeah. a bin of hats, right? Which right. you know, I get. I guilty. Yeah. Hat fetish. Love hats. I'm there with it. Right? Yep. Hat. I love it. So you know, you need a cigar hat. I got a couple for you, right? Um, <laughs> no stores attached. They're, they're just, just straight up hat. You yeah. know, I'll give it to you, but you know, you can go and because my brother, right? I love my little brother. Yep. He always gets me like like a little, he gets me a thoughtful gift. Like he's he knows I like X cigar brand, so he'll go and get the hat because yep. he knows I got the hat, and he's got me some hat. And I've won some on the show. Yep. Won some there. I've bought boxes. I've received the hat. Mm -hmm. I've walked into um, some of the shops. The shops that sell hats that they get for swag, right? Like, dude, like, I'm, <laughs> yep. you know, um, you're not far off there. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know. I, I like to add too the, uh, uh, there's always, uh, always that person in the shop, you know, not too, too often, but they're peddling, uh, cigar art or random, random things to try and incorporate and sell you, uh, totally. You know, to totally uh, absolved of everything cigar related. Um, do that. Do that in your own time. Mm. Right? I'm here to relax, have a cigar, drink, uh, not be peppered into buying uh, cigar art and you know random random things on the side. This is a time and a place. Yeah. You know, they, not well, most people we're there to relax and enjoy. Mm -hmm. What about the profession where someone says, "Hey, man, I sell X. That's cool." <laughs> like you know, <laughs> well, they're, they're inviting conversation most of the time. No one's gonna, no one's gonna uh, tag on and uh, and open up that can of worms. And that person will just go for it anyway. They're gonna, they're gonna hit you with uh, oh. the full gamut. Yeah, yeah, no need. Like, hey man, you have life insurance? Yep. <laughs> uh, you should look at it. I just told you I had it, and you know, if you're looking at my resume, you can look me up on LinkedIn. I had a stint with a life insurance company for 16 months. Hated it, right? Yep. Hated it, right? But it's like, you know, oh, you got to use those. Because I get it. It's called center of influences. Yep. But, you know, that can be delivered tactfully. Because that sometimes for the Story Geeks listener can say, whoa, wait a minute, Hosempa. We clearly know what you do for a living. Right. Yeah, right. But I'm not soliciting that. Like, right. I'm not saying, I'm saying, hey, if there's anybody I should talk to, let me know. Peace. And that's it, it. it certainly like, you know, it comes up in conversation uh, naturally. That's one thing, but it shouldn't be uh, the base of a conversation and a lead in um, as to what, what you do, uh, you know, on the side, place of employment. Kind of kind of leave it be. If it, yeah. if it comes out naturally and uh, it's not talking about life insurance and whatever else, that's fine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly not a lead in. Like, total lead in. Like, there's a dude next door. Who I know is watching the show. Like Ooh. I don't even know his name, but I know what company he works for. I know what life insurance provider he works for, and that. And I've told him I was like, "Wow, man, I did that stuff for for sixteen months, and this is why I didn't like the." If I told you I did it, wouldn't you think I've had it? But wouldn't you think I've like changed the subject? Well, the onus is on yeah, the onus is on you to keep that conversation going. You know, now I you're do. Choo you're choosing not to. Now I there are some points where I I am a little guilty of 
you know, people say, hey, you know, uh, outside of Story Geeks, I also have a uh, radio show. It's on Thursdays, right? So I'm on a uh, talk radio uh, format. It's it's all about business, right? Uh, but that being said, you know, I'm not out, you know, saying, hey, you know, you want to do, if it comes up, like, hey, how's business? How's your show doing? Yeah. Oh, show's doing good, you know, blah, 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 blah. I've had some people come up even next door say, hey, you know, I'd like the opportunity. You know, I was like, you know, you, you would make a fantastic interview. Well, what do I have to do? Okay, now you're, you're engaged. Okay, right. well, we, we need to set up an appointment. Other than now. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I, I always say, I always say, you know. Both you, in a mutual place for discussion. Here's my card. Google, or you can Google me, or chances are that they've, they know how to find me, right? Yep. Let's take a, a moment in time to discuss that. But we're not going to discuss that now. And that's how I gingerly tiptoe around that. You know, but if you're asking me, hey, how's your how's your radio show? Uh, first thing I say is, are you listening? Well, I haven't had a chance to listen. Well, then obviously it's not going that good. Right? <laughs> you know, hey, how's Stogie Geeks? How many episodes have you watched? You know, oh, yeah, that, that Paul Sagar he reviewed last month. Really? Because I'm not watching a different show, you right. know, not to throw you underneath the bus, you know. Yep. But, you know, it's like it's like, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the but the fanboy of the blend like I have met the CEO of this company. Wow. That's amazing. I'm, I'm pumped that, 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 that's an experience that you would never forget. Now, tactfully work that into a conversation, right? But don't make that be the center of the conversation. You know, nobody wants to be whacked over the head with, uh, <clears throat> with something like that. Yeah. It's, it has to come from a natural conversation. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, but yeah, the, the, the politics, sex, or religion is like my rule. I've gone as far, <clears throat> I've gone as far where, unsolicited now i'm sitting at a high top table on the computer and i'm doing what i gotta do i'm focused because there are some things that happen in my business that are deadline etc you know there's an a pending deadline that i gotta get some stuff done immediately okay and someone's like hey you know uh you know i want to talk about this happened uh, this happened like probably august or september of of 17 yep uh can you believe trump stance on this i go dude I don't talk about politics, sex, or religion. No, come on, seriously. No, I'm serious. And you're clearly engaged in uh, something, you know, something else. You're, you're in a shop. You're clearly engaged in other activities that you're not putting yourself out there to, mm. uh, you know, to get into it any, any further. How much time we have for this segment? Because right. I have a few more. Can we? All right, good. Right uh, for this segment or for the whole gig? Oh, cool. All right, yeah. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll uh, the one upper. Mm -hmm. You know, Classic hey, one up guy. Hey. <laughs> Where have you been for two weeks? Uh, I was on vacation. Oh, you look tan. That's great. Where'd you go? Uh, I went to the Caribbean. What'd you do? Uh, smoked cigars, hung out on the beach, or I went to Hilton Head, played some golf, blah, blah. Well, you know, I, I don't like Hilton Head because, you know, it's, it's too laid back. I like Myrtle Beach. Well, I like Myrtle Beach too, but it's too full of versions of me. All those Jersey people from <laughs> all those Italians. The last place I want to be is, is, is at Myrtle Beach. Yep. So I go three hours south to get away from that. You know what I mean? Because my yep. Italian family always goes to Hilton Head, and that's what we've always done, you know? But then, they're, they're, well, they've been to Hilton Head, and, you know, they've gone. Have you been here? Have you been here? Have you been here? Have you been here? I've done this. Dude, I've been on the island since we were little. That's what my family did every week 32. It, it's a fun time, you know? Where can you go with your parents to ride a bicycle and have a daiquiri with, with your mom or dad or significant other and, and spend some quality yep. family time? It's good. And, 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 like, I'm trying to be short, and they're not getting the point, but they're the one-upper, you know? How's business? Well, if I had a business like yours, I would be soliciting. I would be soliciting for this. Really? You think it's easy? You think it, like you think it's easy doing what what, what we do? Time and place. You Time know? and place. How about the Stogie Geek critique? Let's end with that. <laughs> Let's end with that. Thank you to all of our listeners. Okay, but I love the. You know what you guys should talk about? Oh, okay. Shoot. Because that's exactly what I say. <laughs> what should we talk about here on Let's the Sturgy Geeks show? And they're like, you know, one of the things you should do is you should have like wizards come from the sky and, <laughs> and you know, it'll be great. And you can, you know, you should get, you should get an interview with this company. Oh, okay. We have been talking to this company and, you know, uh, the, the, there's a technical barrier. There's a logistical barrier. There's yep. a time barrier. There's a time constraint barrier. Um, there's a uh, duck and cover barrier. Yeah, I said it. That's coming from me, right? There's a duck okay, and cover. We're always efforting, <coughs> always efforting on our end to, uh, to you know bring the best, most compelling <laughs> interviews and interesting people, and sometimes they don't want to be had. 
you know, we're, we're basically walking around with a net gun trying to try to capture those uh, that are out there, and it, it, it takes time. It takes time. Yeah. And sometimes it may, may not be a right fit. Yeah. That's you know? um, it's kind of funny. I, 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 you know, well, well, you know, you know, now some of the ideas are great, which the Stogie Geeks listener now has a forum to come and email us, joe D at stogiegeeks.com or joe H at stogiegeeks.com, and you can give us your ideas. We're not, we, what, some of the ideas that have come up are great. Absolutely. Like coming soon, the Stogie Geeks bus tour, right? We're doing a series of tours that are going to go to some different places. And, you know, where that is in the making. And a date is coming out very, very soon. We've secured transportation. We've secured sponsorship for it. Uh, it is going to happen. And, you know, you want to stay close to the next few episodes. Uh, I know I've been saying that for six weeks now, but getting traction and tracking people down and, and the logistics right. is not as easy to run a Stogie Geek show, and it's and and I'll be honest with you, from a co-host co-host perspective, it's not easy running a Stogie Geek show, not being Paul. Right. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, right. we're gonna do a. a so, well, what does Paul think about this? You know what I mean? Get I would not be yep. talking about it unless Paul is cool with it. You know, like I, I believe me, Paul has a staff. Me and Jody know our place in production. Right. We know our place as co-host. We know our position. Within the company, we know our placement now yep. <laughs> for 2018. Yep. Right. We reviewed this like we're, we're it's cool. Like it's cool, you know. And and you know it, the the story the story geeks bus tour came from a listener. Right, a listener awesome. emailed that to me, and I said, "Wow, that's a phenomenal idea." Great idea. Having sticks earlier on our web rotation, so you know what our stick of the week is going to be is something that we're trying to logistically put through from a technology perspective. Okay. Uh, again, feedback is, 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 is always welcome, but you know, there's a time and a place for it and it might not be at the lounge after an episode or during an episode and, and, and stuff like that. Right. And we're trying to tax, you know, tactfully uh, do it and uh, not upset anybody. And there's just too many, uh, too many eyes and ears and, we try to do it right mm. and uh, do it right and respectful for, you know, everybody involved. Yep. You know? And to sum it up, um, Ho Jose Blanco said it best, right? So this quote comes from Jose Blanco. Had the chance to uh, go to one of his blending seminars. Uh, they, if they come out to a tobacconist near you, you definitely want to go to that. Oh, my God. Yeah. But Jose Blanco's point... Do you know Jose Blanco's point was? I'm, I'm waiting to hear it. Jose Blanco's point was, and if you have a kid, get the kid away from the screen, right? <laughs> right? Uh, if you're watching this, you know, you get little ones running around. Um, Jose Blanco said the worst thing about smoking a cigar in the lounge is not the blend, is not the brand, is not if you like it, it's smoking it next to an asshole. <laughs> His words, not mine. And I was like, that will certainly ruin well, your experience, yeah. Well said, right. Jose. Yep. I'll give you a hug on that one. I'll give you a pound on that one. Yep. If there was no toilet paper or, or squares, <laughs> I'll give you an elbow on that one. <laughs> right? Uh, what's your feedback? What do you think? Email us, joeh at stogiegeeks.com or joed at stogiegeeks.com. Coming up next, our sticks of the week. Thank you for listening to us rant. We Thank appreciate you. it.